So today, Santa Clara Valley Audubon Society is taking a look at the construction of paper tube binoculars. We are going to be making these basics of optics. They're fantastic for birders of any age or experience level. Uh, the great thing about these is they are not only customizable to any design you so prefer, but they're also lightweight, budget friendly, really easily repaired, and to be honest, they're really the only optics that you're never going to have to worry about in the field, no matter how long you spend as a birder. So let's take a quick look at our materials that we're going to need for this project. Let's start off taking a look at our materials. So we're gonna be needing some paper tubes for this project. They're gonna be the body of our binoculars. They can be any size, but they should be of similar size to each other, just so you don't have lopsided binoculars. We're also going to want some scissors, tape, a hole punch if you've got it. A stapler is really useful for this project. Grab some paper to decorate your binoculars with. We're going to want some string or yarn if you have it to make our binocular straps. And of course, we're gonna want something to decorate our binoculars with. So we can use some crayons, markers, colored pencils, even stickers if you'd like. Step one for this project involves our piece of paper. Now what we wanna do is we're going to want to cut it to the size of our paper tubes. Now. If you're using a toilet paper roll, you can just divide this piece of paper into quarters. And with our piece of paper cut to the proper size, we can get to decorating. All right, once we're finished with our artwork, we are ready to put it on our paper tube binoculars. For this step, we're gonna need our artwork our paper tubes, and of course, some tape. So we're going to be affixing this piece of paper to this paper tube so we have some nice looking binoculars that are our very own. And in order to do this, we're just going to simply wrap that piece of paper around our tube, nice and even. And you might get a little bit of an overlap, but that's okay. Just try and line those edges up as best you can. Hold it in one place or have someone do that for you and then you can just put a piece of tape on the side to hold it together. And that way we've got one tube of our paper tube binoculars all ready to go. And we're gonna do the same for the other side. So we've got our decorated tube there. We're gonna take our other piece of paper because remember we're decorating both tubes, wrap it around, try and line up those edges as best as we're able. And once we've got that in position, we're gonna take a piece of tape and pop it on there so our paper decoration is nice and secure. So this way we've got two paper tubes. We are ready to go in terms of putting our binoculars together. All right, so step three of this process, well, this is where we're going to be using our stapler or we could alternatively tape these paper tubes together, but I find that staples hold a little bit better. You're gonna wanna make sure that your decorations are facing the direction you want them to, and using either your stapler or your piece of tape, we're going to staple these tubes together at both ends. So we've got one staple and then another. So this way, our binoculars are not going to be coming apart anytime soon. They're nice and secure. Step three, and we're almost done. This is where we're going to grab our hole puncher. And what we're going to do is right at the edge, give it maybe a quarter inch or so in. We're going to punch one hole and then another hole on the opposite side. This is where our strap is going to attach. And we want it to be a little bit in on our paper tubes, just so it doesn't pull out. Once we've got those holes, 
we can go about attaching our straps because our binoculars are always going to want to be around our neck so we've got easy access and so we don't lose them. So for our next step, we're going to be using our string or our yarn. We're going to want to measure out enough that we can comfortably hang these binoculars around our neck. We don't want it too tight and too loose means our binoculars are just going to be flapping around in the wind and that's not very comfortable either. Two feet is probably the most you want to go in terms of string length, but this is always adjustable. So if you find that you've given yourself a little bit too much length in terms of your strap, you can always tie it a little bit tighter. So we're going to use our scissors to cut that string, and then we're going to simply tie the string going through those holes that we punched in our binoculars. We're just going to simply tie that on. Nice and tight, give it a good knot so it won't come loose. And then we'll do it with the other side. And now we have our very own paper tube binoculars. Now you can use these for birding out on the trail. You can use them in your backyard or visiting the park. And of course, we do have to figure out what the magnification is of these guys. Now they don't have any magnifying lenses. So the first number that we write on our paper tube is going to be a one. But that first number is the easy bit. The second one does require a little bit more work on our part. So we're gonna pull out a handy dandy ruler or a tape measure, and we're gonna measure across this portion of our paper tube. Now it looks like we're about 4.2, 4.3 centimeters, which means we have a lens size of 43 millimeters, and we will put that on our binoculars so we know the exact magnification of them. And now with that, we are all ready to test these out. Maybe we'll take a look at a bird feeder and see what sort of birds we can spot through them. We've got our house sparrows visiting. We've got our house finch on the bird feeder. This one isn't a bird, but she's a little bit easier to spot. 